Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And I found this to be a funny story, but actually about myself this time. I've made a lot of people over on Twitter very unhappy. Uh, maybe it's because they already live on happy lives, and that's very sad to hear if they do, where they can't find happiness in anything that they do outside of just going ahead and be moaning on somebody who has done something. Well, a little context and a little bit of backstory for you guys. Mr. Beast, if you guys know, is probably the largest YouTuber here on the platform. And, of course, is a is a huge individual when it comes to charity and all, all kinds of other stuff he does. You know, he actually does have pretty some entertaining videos. I've watched a couple of them. I follow Mr. Beast on Twitter. Uh, my kids have watched Mr. Beast, so I know who Mr. Beast is. Anyway, I was shopping at Walmart on Friday with my wife and we just had to go by and get a couple things, a prescription and things like that. And I was just scrolling Twitter as we were waiting and I saw Mr. Beast had put out a tweet. And the tweet was innocent enough. He, if you don't know, he has candy bars, uh, milk chocolate candy bars. And he put out, hey, if you are at my local Walmart or anything and you see my product, uh, the Beast Bars, I think they're called, uh, please, or Feastables. I think they're called Feastables, Mr. Beast Bars. Uh, please, if you would, you know, help me out by, you know, uh, straightening out the section there. I've worked in grocery retail for over 20 years. I lived and breathed grocery retail. I was very passionate about it. I understand the, how to make an aisle look pretty, how to, you know, sit there and, and organize things and those things. So with all that being said, on Friday night, I was in Walmart with my wife, saw the tweet, and I said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if I just do a quick video about me straightening out Mr. Beast's uh, candy bars? It sounds like fun. Spare the moment. So I did. And this is the tweet here. So let's go ahead and put it up on the screen here for you guys to see. So this is Mr. Beast. He says, I need your help. Next time you see the Feastables in Walmart and soon to be new retailers, if you could clean up the presentation and make it look better, uh, uh, then uh, make me very happy. Make it look better. That would make me very happy. I'm building a team to do this routinely. Just need help in the short term. So yeah, he put, uh, put out a picture of what it looked like before on this section here and he cleaned it up. Well, being a nice guy I am, and just by passion, I do this anyway. I'll go in a grocery store while we're shopping, and I'll start fixing a section while Sharon is trying to get something. I'm over here fixing up a shelf because it's it's absolutely a disaster and just drives me nuts when I see it. Anyway, I, I do it because I like it. Anyway, so I went ahead and posted a, uh, a video here. I come down not very far here in the thing. says, I fixed the aisle in my wall. So I, should, I do a quick video of me actually fixing the beast bars at my local Walmart that I was already in. As you see, I'm just going to town there, fixing them up, making them look pretty uh, and and ready to go for the next customer, right? And so people were not very happy about it. There had some supportive people that went in there and said, hey, yeah, you know, great work, Frank, or whatever. And that was great. But uh, there was a lot of saltiness in there. And so we're going to go ahead and go through the uh, go through the tweets over here and take a look at some of them. Uh, somebody called me a soy boy. <laughs> I will actually travel around knocking more of these over. He put them back. Grow man, fanboy, fanboying over a children's entertainer. <laughs> I'm the guy going around the local Walmart. Uh, uh, let's see here. Here's a uh, dick eating is crazy. This guy says, uh, let people enjoy things. Uh, Y'all so bitter for nothing. Getting uh, uh, pissed because another man is happy. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I like Adam. Adam's very cool. Uh, and it just goes, uh, here's another one. Um, I have no idea what that says. It's in it's in Spanish. Um, and, and this has been blowing up over the weekend. My my Twitter um, notifications have been off the charts. I mean, it just continues to every time I like even just log on. There's like 20 plus, you know, interactions. There's already more coming in right now. Uh, so keep coming down here. This is insane levels of dick dick writing. Let's see, man. You're 50 and filming yourself doing free labor for a YouTube millionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a very sad human. I pray you see the light and not making a slave of yourself one day. And this is all. This is all based off of me taking 30 seconds to fix a couple candy bars in a grocery store, which I was already in. And I kind of like doing anyway. I kind of like just straighten things up when I'm in a grocery store. It, it doesn't cost me anything. Obviously, it doesn't cost anybody else anything. It's just it's something that makes me happy. Anyway, it just goes on and on here. Uh, how how old are you? Someone says to me, Frank, you're Frank, this is pathetic behavior. And it's extra sad that you tell on yourself like this from JJ something or other. Frank, JJ, Frankie, JJ. 
Uh, <laughs> Unreal dick riding, this guy says. Here, someone shows me looking the boot or swallowing the boot there. And it just on and on verified, you know, uh, simp or whatever. So, hey, Frank, I am Mr. Uh, Wall, the owner of Walmart. Would you mind fixing up the whole rest of the store? Thank you with love. Actually, I wouldn't mind doing it. I I enjoy I enjoy going to grocery stores and fixing shelves. I actually do. <laughs> it's verifiable. Anyway, so I just I found it very hilarious that people had such a a uh, reaction to somebody going into a Walmart that was well being in a Walmart already and fixing up a candy section of like four candy bars. Come on, dudes, get get real. If you can't have a lighthearted moment in your life, a lighthearted fun moment, and maybe you just wanted to share it. With everybody else and have a lighthearted moment. Wow, I guess that is a crime today. Anyway, I just thought it was pretty fun to share that video with you guys. And I like to have fun sometimes, right? Everyone likes to have a lighthearted moment. And that was my lighthearted moment. Um, and those people who were very negative about it, of course, probably live very negative lives to begin with already. So it was no surprise to me that I saw lots of pronouns and a lot of those individuals who were writing those, uh, writing those comments along with flags. Uh, that never have the American flag in it for whatever reason. Well, we know why. Uh, so anyway, you know what? I might do it again. I might go film myself going into a grocery store just for fun now and fixing their shelves. Who knows? Maybe that'll be a series. I don't know. Anyway, I thought it was fun. Thought I'd share it with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Maybe you guys got a little uh, laugh about it. Um, and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys follow me on all my social media, including Odyssey, Gap, Gab, and Twitter, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.